Hey guys, this is Nick from VonBonsai.com and today I'm going to teach you how to properly winter a native bonsai. Now before I get started, I wanted to tell you about my bonsai ebook. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then go to the link above at VonBonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, on to the topic at hand. Uh, many people don't realize that most bonsai plants are outdoor plants. To properly cultivate and maintain most bonsai, they should not be kept inside, but should be outside year-round. There are a group of what's called indoor bonsai. Uh, these are from warmer climates and are usually non-traditional species such as palm trees. Because they are from a winter climate, they do need to keep, be kept indoors in most locales. However, if you're keeping traditional native bonsai in the U.S., then the chances are that trees need to be outside. The bonsai need to be outside. Most people don't realize how important it is for these trees to be wintered outside in a natural climate. For your tree to have a healthy and natural growing cycle, it's critical for it to have this period of winter dormancy. To give your plant this necessary period, you'll need to winter it someplace outside. The best way to accomplish this is to remove the bonsai from its container and plant it in your yard. In most native trees, the roots are the part of the tree that are most sensitive to the cold. Most plants will start experiencing root damage at about 23 degrees Fahrenheit. To help avoid root damage, you will need to take the plant out of its container and bury it in the yard or garden. If you bury the plant so that the bottom branches are just barely exposed, this should keep the roots below the frost line. You should bury it in a shaded area. During the winter days, the sun can cause the plant to lose its water and the frozen roots will not be able to replenish it. If you do not have a yard to plant a tree in for the winter, you can use a large container. A large container about the size of a vegetable crate should be sufficient. You bury the plant in the container just like you would a yard and set it somewhere outside where it will be exposed to natural elements. If you use a container, it's very important that you monitor the soil moisture closely and do not allow it to dry out. You can also winter your tree in an attic or a garage as long as it's not heated and it has windows. Be sure to place the plant where it's exposed to the light from the windows. You will still need to water your plant almost daily if you choose this method. If you plant a coffer, you will want to rotate it about once a week so that all the sides of the plant will be exposed to sunlight. You can prepare your tree for its winter storage as soon as the leaves start or the last leaves have fallen off. At this time, the plant is dormant and it's ready to be moved. In the spring, you can remove it from the yard and place it back into the container as long as uh, or as soon as you see the first buds appear. If you allow your plant to winter indoors, they will bud early. When they bud early, the days will be too short for proper growth and the leaves will have longer gaps between them. Well, that's all for this video. I hope that it helped you. Make sure you check the link above for my bonsai book or bonsai ebook rather, and I'm going to be coming out with dozens more videos. So subscribe, like, or rather give me the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.